scientific notations. In our scientific calculator, we can choose to displace our answer in scientific notations. Now, a scientific notation or a standard form of a number uh, consists of two parts, the real number and the orders of magnitude. The advantage of uh, writing numbers in scientific notation is that we can clearly tell the number of significant figure and at the same time we can tell quickly uh, the value of that numbers for a very very big number or a very very small number. Now let's see how do we make our calculator displace the answer in scientific notations. Let's say we would like to uh, displace this answer in scientific notations. Let's switch on the calculators and key in this number 4350000 equal. Okay, now we can see that the answer is displaced in normal numbers, not scientific notation. And if we would like our answer to be displaced in scientific notation, then we go to the setup, uh, shift setup, okay, and uh, scientific notations is in seven, so seven. Now, after we tap on seven, then the calculator will ask how many significant figures that we would like the answer to be displayed. Uh, in this case, we have three significant figure, let's say, and let's choose three. Okay, so immediately you can see that the answer is displaced in scientific notation, 4.35 times 10 to the power of seven. So this is equal to 4.35 times 10 to the power of seven. Let's try another example. Okay, this is a very small number. Um, if we would like to uh, display this in scientific notations, so what do we do is uh, we key in this into the calculator. Zero point, we have uh, seven zero here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then seven, five, one, four. Uh, seven, five, one, four, equal. And then uh, straight away, the calculator tells us that uh, this is 7.51 times 10 to the power of negative 8. Now, however, this is four significant figure, and this is given in three significant figure, because just now we set uh, our scientific notations to three significant figure. If you would like the answer to be displaced in four significant figure, then we go back to the setup, shift, setup, and uh, scientific notation. Now this times let's set to four significant figure and the answer displays in four significant figure. So that's how it work. Okay, so this is equal to 7.514 times 10 to the power of negative eight. Fixed number. Now in your calculator, instead of to fix the number of significant figure for the answer, you can also fix uh, the answer according to the number of decimal places. For example, um, this number has five significant figures and three decimal places. Let's say I would like uh, this to be displaced in two decimal places. So what I need to do is go to the setup, shift setup, and then go to fix six, and then tell that I want to have two decimal places, two. Okay, so now let's key in this number, 23.142 equal. Okay, the answer is given in fractions to change this to decimal number, so we click on this SD buttons. So, okay, now we can see that the answer is given in two decimal places, okay? So, uh, this is equal to 23.14 in two decimal places. Let's see another example, 1.4356, okay? 1.4356 equal. So you see the answer is given in two decimal places. Okay, so this is equal to 1.44. Uh, if we would like it to be round up to two decimal places. Let's see another example, 0 0.0156. Six. Okay, so 0 0.0156 equal. Okay, so this is given in fractions to change it to decimal numbers. So you can see that uh, the answer is 0 0.02. So if we would like the answer to be displaced in two decimal places, then this will be the answer. Okay, so uh, that is the use or the functions of the fixed number. 
the normal number. Let's say we already set uh, the calculator to displace answer in scientific notations or fixed, and then we would like to change it back to normal numbers. So then we can use this uh, normal numbers uh, functions. Okay, um, for example, just now. Uh, 0 0.0156 when we change to two decimal places is equal to 0 0.02 and we would like to change it back to normal number so we go to the setup shift setup okay now these times we choose uh, normal normal number 8 now when you choose normal number then the calculator will tell you whether we want normal 1 or normal 2 so what's the difference between normal 1 and normal 2 okay uh, let's see these tables, eh? okay, to see the difference between normal 1 and normal 2. Now, for normal 1 and normal 2, if the number is big, then it has no difference, okay? Like uh, 30,303, so uh, both will give you exactly uh, the same uh, display. However, for a number which is less than two decimal places, uh, for example, 0 0.003, for normal 2, the, the calculator will still give the answer in a normal number, but for normal 1, the calculator will give you the answer in scientific notations. So that's the difference between normal 1 and normal 2. Eh? Okay. So for normal 1, for any number which is less than 0 0.01, then it will be given in scientific notation. Let's say we choose normal 2 first, okay, and then uh, let's try for a number. Um, 0 0.0032 okay and uh, equal so this is in uh, fractions when we click on the SD buttons then uh, this is given in uh, normal numbers okay uh, however if we change this to uh, normal 1 okay so then uh, you will see that the answer is given in scientific notation because this is less than 0 0.01 so for normal one any number less than 0 0.01 will be given in scientific notation the engineering notations so what is engineering notation let's see this example okay so let's say we have a number five one two zero 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 okay five one two zero 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 equal now when we tap on these engineering notations buttons then we can see that uh, the answer is given in scientific notation so this is equal to 5.12 times 10 to the power of 6 okay now let's see what will happen if we tap uh, the engineering button for another time just now we learned that uh, for scientific notations, the answer has two parts, the real number and the orders of magnitude. And let's see what will happen if we tap on this engineering button for another time. Okay, we can see that um, the values of the real number increase to 5,120, but uh, the orders of magnitude decrease. Eh? Okay, so when you tap on the engineering button for another time, then uh, the number will change and the real number will increase but uh, the orders of magnitude will decrease and we tap for another time okay it happened again you should realize that the orders of magnitudes uh, decrease uh, in the orders of three yeah? six to three three to zero every times when we tap on this engineering button um, let's try one more time okay so it become uh, 10 to the power of negative three now, if we would like these orders of magnitude to increase, then we use this shift button, eh? shift engineering, then uh, it will increase. And then uh, shift engineering again, so it increased to 10 to the power of 3. Shift engineering, so it's uh, back to this uh, 10 to the power of 6. And let's do this again. Shift engineering, then it becomes 10 to the power of 9. Uh, again, 10 to the power of 12 and one more time 10 to the power of 50. so that is how the engineering notation work okay so when you tap on the engineering buttons then it will displace uh your answer in uh, scientific notations with the nearest orders of magnitude with the orders of magnitude with the exponent uh in multiples of three okay so that's how it work